Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Greece here in Victoria 2. Last episode, we clicked a button, which is always fun to do as a small nation. It's like, yay, we clicked something. Like, Serbia has a bunch they can click that you can eventually form Yugoslavia or whatever. Poland, I mean, you can start as, I don't know, Germany? Not Germany. You can start as Prussia or Russia or whatever, release Poland. Then they have a bunch of buttons they can click to, to expand. You can start as, like, Wallachia, Wall Wallachia, whatever. And you can click some buttons to expand into Romania or whatever. Italy can click buttons to make Italy, you know. So stuff like that's available. Um, and Greece has a couple of those. We have clicked the first one. The first one is the Magali idea. And this has uh, noticed, well, I guess it's not noticed. It's acknowledging that we have reconquered, albeit not all through war. We have reconquered uh, our cores from the Ottomans. Not everything, but everything but Cyprus. And by doing this... Uh, that gives us even more cores. It's like, hey, you did a good job getting those cores. Now try to get these. And the tough one is obviously the core on Istanbul because that's their capital. We can't just take it. You certainly can't. Uh, you can't send your national focus there, so we can't do any. What do you call uh, tension in that area? In any case, today we are going to be declaring on the Ottomans, and I'm really hoping that we can get Senor Rusia to join us here. So let's declare for Huda Vendigar, or Aiden, or both. We'll declare for Huda Vendigar, and we'll see what happens. Start paying our soldiers a little better. Not going to worry about the ships too much. Uh, and our economy? Well, we'll probably take some loans. I'm going to lower the education down to about 30 for now. And uh, administration down to maybe 50. Just for now, and then we'll deal with it later. But I need to make sure we actually have some funds to do some fighting. Okay, France is in. Russia's in. Excellent. Russia has leadership. That's perfect. Uh, what are we going to do here? Well, we're all in the war. Certainly have a lot more strength than the Ottomans. And the allies he has, the Netherlands and Portugal, are not that strong. So, most likely we'll be... Uh, using Russia as a crutch to push the Ottoman troops back and then we can siege things up. Do we want to mobilize for this? Maybe. Maybe. I think we'll try not to mobilize. Now we are at a big disadvantage here. He is currently blockading me and this blockade is worth some war score. I can't even check my individual war score. No, 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 no. Okay. We can't even check our, our peace deal here. Mm. Oh, France has taken over leadership. I thought it said Russia took over leadership. Hmm. Maybe leadership passed twice. But yeah, even on the offense, leadership can pass twice. It's very weird in this game. Can we lower our... Oh my god, I hate to do this. Um, Maybe we'll pay our people a little less. There you go. Just pay them less. Fuck it. You don't need money. God, it's nice. Having a couple cav in there really makes a difference when we're sieging. Alright, we're going to go crush this army. France wants Dutch Guyana. Okay. We won't be able to add any demands until, let's say, well, until that negative 11 turns into a positive number. Get in there and fight, maggot. Oh, we're crushing them. Crushing them. Looks good. Oh, we got there first. Lovely. And this one's not going so hot, so we'll bring over the backup in a little bit. Oh, cool. We crushed that army. Great. You go straight to the capital. War between the Greece and the Ottomans. Indeed. 
Now, the silly thing is we're fighting all the battles so far, but battle war score only goes to the war leader, who is France. So that's actually not helping us. We're still at negative 11. But France has a lot more. He has plus two from battles now. I wish I had that plus two. Now we'll have to get ours. We'll have to get our war score through sieges, which is fine. We can do some sieges. Not a problem. Okay, we have crushed his army, going to his capital. Great. Oh, he's back with more dudes. Interesting. Okay. Maybe we should mobilize. If we mobilize, we can siege up with the mobilized units and then use our regular armies to fight. Hmm, that's possible. Portugal is sieging up our lands in Africa. That's fine. Don't care. Is this a mobilized regiment? It is. Yes, this is just four mobilized peasants. Good. We'll kill them. Here comes Russia. Good times. What's up, Ottomans? <laughs> Your peasants don't fight very well, dude. He's like, I know. It's actually putting up a pretty good defense here. Wow. A lot stiffer defense than I thought from peasants. Holy shit. We've lost some regiments, too. We had 25 regiments? We only have 19 now. Ah, darn regiments. Okay, some more admin efficiency, please. There we go, they're dead. Okay, good. Just siege things up now. Man, getting that tax efficiency made a huge difference in our, in our income from taxes. Which means I'm willing to put my admin efficiency up again. And can we afford to supply our units all the way? Yes, we can. Can we also teach a little better? Yes, we can. Good. Just want to keep it positive. Even just a little bit is nice. Okay, Russia wants cars. That's fine with me. Colonial progress. Gain a life rating in Greek Malaya. Sure. we heal up for one turn? At the end of the month, how many troops will we get back? Uh, 4,500. Okay. That's worth waiting for. Eh, it's not bad. Siege up. The nice thing is, since we have some cavalry, we're actually sieging faster than he is with his peasants, because his peasants don't have any cavalry. That's an important thing to remember. And I need to remember that, that in this game, cavalry is what sieges, not cannons. It's a tough one for my brain to process, you know? All right, we're going to do that, and then you're going to heal up for one more turn. One more month. Hey, hey, socialist Karl Marx in Tuscany. Cool. Okay, healed up again. They're almost full health now. Nice. Oh shit, are those mo more peasants? Yeah. Holy shit, he's just got an ass load of peasants over here. Hmm. Could wait again. Yeah, I think we'll wait again. There, there's no real rush. Unless there is. No, he split up. Perfect. So glad you decided to split up, split up Mr. Ottoman Man. Look how fast we siege with those couple cavalry. Awesome. We are full of diplomats. Holy shit. Mm, Germany. Have some relations. Austria. Austria's pretty good. Can I get access? No. All right, I'm going to look at Japan, because Japan's already a secondary power. In fact, he's quickly coming up behind us. He's number 12 already. Holy balls. What about, like, Korea is in the U.S. sphere? Dynam, U.S. sphere... Hmm, Siam, nobody, really? Oh, friendly with Britain, of course. Hmm. I think I'm going to pander to the Chinese a bit. I'm wondering if they're going to westernize. They might. 
Sometimes they do it really late. Oh yeah, how's our personal war score? Still negative 11. These occupations just don't count for much. End of the month, please. Then we'll go into Scopy. Scopie. Wow, they siege so fast. I love it. Okay, come on back. Going this one first because it's more dire. It's further along. Oh, we're crushing them. I love it. Serbia has declared war on the Ottomans, okay. Crush them. And they're dead. Okay, so... Well, there's one more. But yeah, they're going to die. Let's go to the capital. And all that war score, all those battles, those all go to France. Yeah, 22 from battles. I wish I could add a war goal. Wouldn't that be nice? But uh, yeah, our personal war score is still negative 11. So we'll see it up the capital. We'll siege up some more stuff. And we'll see. Oh, there we go. It's done. Huda Vendigar is ours. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Delicious. We know we, we still have more cores to go. There we go. So we're probably going to do a little bit of crisis now. But we have five years of truce, which is great. 1866. All right. And apparently they had some factories there. They did. A winery. I'll open a winery. Not sure I want to keep it, but we'll open it at least. And uh, let's lower our supply funding. Don't need it right now. 30% is fine. And bring our admin back up. Let's see if we can afford that. We should be able to. Yeah. Yep, Serbia is not going to stay in that war. The Ottomans will definitely rebuild and crush Serbia. But hey, we got Huda Vendigar. Next up is probably going to be uh, Aiden. Aiden. We can't do anything about Thrace until the capital moves. But you know what we can do is we can fabricate on Rumelia. And Twitch chat has told me that if we get Rumelia, that will force him to move his capital to Ankara. Like he has an event that moves his capital from Istanbul to Ankara, if we can surround it by taking Rumelia, or by releasing Bulgaria. Either thing will we'll do that. So that's a possibility, but I think a higher priority is going to be invading Sokoto. The only problem I have is we've actually lost a few guys here. And I think I want to get some replacements. So yeah, just get me some replacement. Some Turkish soldiers will work just fine. We'll pick them up in uh, Bursa. Well, that went rather well. That was a pretty quick and uh, innocuous war. It's too bad. It's too bad that one blockade there in the Aegean was so much war score. We couldn't really overcome it. Uh, we could, given enough time, we could have sieged enough things to overcome it, but uh, really didn't have the time. Too bad. Okay, just a couple months until that shit's done, and then we'll start ferrying troops down here and invade Sokoto. Now, is anyone friendly with Sokoto? Mm, no. Oh, but the USA is cordial. They might bump that up to friendly. Ooh, we'll have to get in there before that happens. They're so close, though. Wow. Hmm, we have some extra funds. 
how many how much money does it take to upgrade these ba naval bases? 17,000 pounds. Wow. Okay, that's uh, more expensive than I expected. We're going to be saving up for a while. Serbia has surrendered. Aww. Alright, so Serbia is out of his war with the Ottomans. As figured, he didn't do so well. So well. Right, just go, can you go all the way up? Is that going to work? Yeah, look at that. Full education and full admin. I love it. So even with less military tech than the Ottomans, we're still able to beat them. Simply because, well, Russia helped. <laughs> Thanks, Russia. Alright, so what do we have? Let's get uh, one cav, one cannon. Go over there. One soldier. One soldier. No, it's going to be more than one soldier. It's going to be two more. Okay. No, still too much. Hmm. Because we can only we can only carry thirty troops, so ten regiments. Have to take out one more. There you go. All right, Sokoto, we're coming for you. Don't tell them we're coming for them. Oh shit! USA is getting the relations up. No. Fuck it. USA, you better just stay over there. Focus on your civil war. Oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna finish that war and come over and pound me in the face. That fucker. Alright, let's come down here and chill right here. Don't get discovered. Hmm. Okay, we're only eight years away from the colonial rush. We need to get down here to machine guns. Let's start. We also need money. And I think that's important. More important than education. So 70, and let's go 70 and 70. Save up some cash. 30 pounds a day, not bad. Because we need, we need those naval bases. War between the USA and Korea. Whoa, what is this? War of Korean submission. Oh, he wants to add Korea to his sphere of influence. Huh. Interesting. Interesting and interestinger. Did you just say interestinger? Damn right. Hey, Spain, can I have access? No. Damn it. Shit, he's almost done with that. But you know what? If he's busy with Korea, maybe he'll leave us alone. It's possible. It's possible he'll also come over and fuck with us. Is he friendly yet? No, he's still cordial. No. We don't have our CB, though. Oh shit, it's going to take longer for the CB. Can we recruit any more guys? Yeah, one more guy. Okay. Might as well. 1.1 infamy. <sighs> Not that bad. Okay, full funding. go up through Calabar, probably. Shortest route. But we are going to take quite a bit of attrition. Probably like 3k, just getting off the damn boat. And then walking. Yeah, only 1k. Alright, not that bad. Just go dock up again. 8, 9, there we go. Ah, oh, shit, he just got friendly. Well, oh well, USA is busy with two wars. 
So we're going to go for East House. Yeah, East House of Land. Oh, Russia wants in the war. Hmm. Very likely. Well, come on in, Russia. You're the man. All right, Russia's in. Good. USA did not jump to defend them, but they might intervene. We'll see what happens. With the two cav here, it should siege a little quickly. Oh, yeah, it's going pretty quick. Then we'll go straight to East House of Land. We'll get the ticking war score. Alright, we actually resupply here. I was, I'm was i kind of surprised we actually resupply there, considering there's no real access. There's no sea access, no land access, nothing. But we resupply anyway. Beat him up. I said beat him up. What's up, bro? Okay, the USA has defeated the CSA. Are they going to put their nose in our business? I really hope not. I'm going to come down here and heal up. Get back to 30k if I can. Crisis in southern Serbia. Well, doesn't involve me. Netherlands going to back the Ottomans. Interesting. So the Netherlands has refused to back the Ottomans when it's my crisis. But when it's Serbia's crisis, the Netherlands wants to back. Okay. Sure. And Germans are going to back Serbia. Ooh. Oh, man. That's going to cause some friction. Austria is on the Netherlands' side. Britain should be on Germany's side. Yeah, he will. France is going to be on Austria's side. This might be a war. Yep, Belgium's in. He really wants that land back. That's okay. We'll let him stand there. And then we'll come crush his dreams. Oh, is he going to run away? Yeah, he is. And he got away, too. Look at that. Oh, he's getting crushed. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Wow, poor bastard. Yep, he did. What's our war score now? 17. Alright, that should be enough. Ooh. France, Austria, and Spain versus Belgium, England, and Germany. Acquire Gelderland. Ooh. Alright, let's see what happens. That might even go to war. Man, if that goes to war, well, then I just hope my truce is up soon. We do have some diplomats right now. Let's get relations up with Germ Germ. When's our truce up? I would love another war down here. Uh, three years. Oh, shit. Well, might have to wait three years. Look at him recruiting units. It's adorable. They should accept peace, like, right now. But Russia's the war leader, so he's the one who can offer it. Actually, I might be able to offer my own peace. I'm not surprised. I'm not sure. Let's see. Nope. Only Russia can do it. All right. Fair enough. Next up. Get those techs out of the way. And you know what we can do before that? We can do empiricism for faster research. Might as well get it out of the way. We'll want it anyway. Oh, man. That crisis. It's going to go to war. 
gonna go to war. I honestly don't know if Germany can hold off Austria and France at the same time. I don't think they can. Because the, the Brits, they're a total wild card. They may get involved. They may just ignore the war entirely. But Germany, they're stuck on the continent. They can't just ignore it. It's gonna, it's gonna go down, right? Come on, just peace out, Russia. Come on, Russia. Let's go, Russia. Mm, 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 mm. Come on, Russia. Peace out. There you go. Good guy, Russia. Okay. East house land is ours. And the nice thing is we can colonize. Shoop. Because the life rating here is better than the life rating anywhere else. Beautiful. Ah, oh, we have a base for colonizing. I love it. We only took 1.1 infamy, so I'm kind of tempted to go beat up on Egypt. Oh shit, he got sphered. Never mind. Never mind. Actually, if Britain gets involved in this war, then we might still be able to... Oh, wow. Yeah, Netherlands sphered Ottomans. If Britain gets involved in the war with the Ottomans, which it looks like they will, I expect them to lose that war. Although I'm not sure. Let's see. Germany... 162 versus 86 and 116. It's close. I still think Germany can't do that, but I don't know. Britain may just send over floods and floods of peasants. In fact, that's actually very likely. All right, so let's get these troops home. Let's walk to, uh, walk to there, walk to Tunis. Just walk to Tunis. I'll meet you there. <laughs> Walk across the Sahara Desert. What could go wrong? Indeed. Oh man, it's going to be war. There it is. Germany, Serbia, Belgium, and the UK. Look at this. Pretty even numbers too. Versus the Netherlands, the Ottomans, Austria, France, and Spain. Now this sucks. This sucks because the Ottomans and France are on the same team. However, the Ottomans don't really have a whole lot of allies, so I think we'd be okay if we declared our war. Uh, it's interesting to note, though, that Britain may actually sink the Ottoman fleet. I mean, Britain has 202 ships, the Ottomans have 53. Britain could, if they wanted to, sink that fleet, and if they do, then that's our time to declare war. Then we can blockade them, and we'll never have that 11% negative war score. God, we're taking so much attrition out here. It doesn't matter. You want access? Nope. You want access? Nope. Suck my nuts. Actually, maybe I should have given them access so they can go lose their soldiers wherever they go. Austria wants access. Um, sure. We're not so unfriendly with Austria. Any Garibaldi red shirts yet? Not yet. I don't know when they start, but sometime soon. Well, if this war goes on for three years, then that's going to be our time to pounce. Although, considering they're already at 17%, this war may not go on that long. Wow. They're, oh my god, they're crushing. They're crushing. Oh my god. I'm going to give all these guys military access, because why not? Oh, and we recruited a dude. Good job, dude. Oh, is that it? The war's over? Oh my god, the war lasted like no time at all. Serbia got southern Serbia, that's it. So Germany took 11 infamy by demanding northern... Or by demanding Gelderland, uh, this area. He demanded Gelderland and then he didn't even take it. And he was winning... Why would you not take it? You were winning massively. Ugh, the silliness. So the war did not last very long. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. But you know what? We are out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. This has been another chapter in the land of Greece in Victoria 2. East House of Land bends to our will. Very, very nice of them to offer their lands to us. And uh, we now have Bornu colonizing. But that'll have to be next time. 
I'll see you then. Have a good day.